when you have power, people will always try to take it from you, always. Ordinarily, like a story would just be about people overcoming adversity or learning lessons. To me, this feels so much about people who are willing increasingly to sort of compromise their values for their, to satisfy their need for power to some extent. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting. When I read it, that was not necessarily my my approach. Sure. I know, um, I mean, definitely an examination of people's relationship with power and how that becomes more normalized uh, the more sort of we we participate in that. And um, it's funny, I've thought about this recently with myself, like how much have I changed? This made me think like, what have I, have I compromised? Have I, um, what have I let go? What have I gained sort of as I've grown up and sort of navigated this career? Like it does make me look at that. Well, I think that, you know, patriotism is a very changeable, word um, it's sort of like obsession right you know it can become it can be something very healthy it can be something very unhealthy as well um, but uh, um, through interpretations of what patriotism uh, is and and I do believe that uh, Mr. Cheney sincerely believed that uh, what he was doing did what was ultimately to pr protect um, the American people um, uh, he, he uh, he, he is somebody, I do actually uh, think that, that he, he is learning many values there, you know, through, you see the beginning, um, where he, he went from being in, in the drunk tank to 11 years later becoming the youngest White House Chief of Staff ever, very much um, propelled forward uh, by uh, his wife, um, Lynn, um, who was actually the far more ambitious uh, of the two. Um, and you do see him, um, uh, if, uh, making great uh, changes in his life and evaluating himself um, throughout. Um, he's, he's, it was a fascinating character to play. Well, what I, lo what I loved about the story was I, I felt that it was both. I felt it was this story of overcoming long odds. I felt it was a guy from a town in Wyoming with a, a wife from a, you know, who was trying to pull herself out as well and, and hard scrabble existence and they found success and I felt like it was the classic American story and probably should have ended at some point in the movie, which people that see the movie will know what that point is. And then this great uh, tragedy happens, 9-11. And what you see is that choices were made before that. There, was, there were things given away, there were beliefs given away that all of a sudden activate in a very frightening way. So it, it's kind of, a, it's definitely got that Horatio Alger, you know, America climb up from nothing kind of element to it. But I like to think of it that it has like the fourth act to it as well. We always hear those first three acts, but what is the fourth act of that story? And, and that's kind of what our movie does.